Hi, it's Kelly and welcome back to Me More TV. Today's video is one that I've wanted to do for quite some time. It's preteen skincare. I'd like, in this video, I'd like to casually talk to you about why do we cleanse at this age? When do we start to do it? I'd like to talk about pimples versus acne and then some products that I'd like to recommend that are, are working for my preteen right now. I do want to just remind you that I'm not a beauty therapist. I have had 20 years um, experience in the beauty industries and I do have a preteen. What I'm sharing is purely um, experience based. Okay so why? Why do we cleanse? And I, I guess the question is quite often is why so young? You know what should a 10 year old? Should a, a 12 year old? Should a 15 year old? Well I believe as soon as the body starts to show changes um, I think that is the time when you start to to cleanse the face. The reason for that is because the hormones are changing so the skin will also change. Now with saying that I have had eight and nine year olds do a very basic cleansing of the face because you think about what our kids are exposed to every day. The pollution, the grease, the grime and then this is one thing I just I see it all the time. Okay so I'll touch this product, I'll touch this, I'll pick up this, I'll pick up this piece of paper, I'll go and touch the, the toilet door handle. Kids are touching things all day, then what do they do? Forever, we do it as adults, you're always touching your face. So you're spreading the germs and you're also putting whatever's on here on your face. So I've, on quite a few young people 20 years ago, um, we would cleanse their face. They've just been at school all day and cleanse their face just with a really light cleanser and a cotton ball and the dirt that would come off their face. So a lot of um, parents would sort of think, oh, they don't need to cleanse their face. They, they wash their face with water in the shower. It's not enough. So you can use a really soft, gentle foaming cleanser, but I'll talk more about that as, as I get into it. So there's lots of contributing, contributing factors of, of why we start cleansing. It's really up to you at sort of what age. But I think that the triggers are definitely what we're exposed to with pollution, um, your child going through some body changes, which means hormonally things are changing. Uh, and especially for the young girls, the preteens, and they love it, is they, they not only play with makeup, but some of them wear makeup out that's got to come off their skin at night because that is when your skin works its hardest, it's when it's sleeping and it needs to breathe. So what do we do? What do we do as parents? Uh, the most important thing is we cleanse morning and night. It's got to be twice a day. And just on that, I think it's really important that children don't, and adults, us, don't use soap on their face. Um, it's too harsh. It's too harsh, harsh on their skin and it's developing. It's too harsh on our skin as we age as well. So it's really got to be a nice sort of soft foaming cleanser. Young people quite often can be a little bit lazy, as can older people. So you want something that is easy and accessible. So a foaming cleanser is great to have in the shower. Um, toning, do they tone, do they not tone? My experience with toning is, well I know it balances the pH in your skin, that's your acid level. If your child is showing signs of acne, I think uh, a toner is really important. But the toner also closes the pores so it's ready to um, take the next step of the moisturiser. But as I've said in my skincare routine, if you've got pretty much normal skin, um, cold water will close, close the pores and then we moisturize. Moisturizing is really important in the morning and especially at night. It's like a film of protection over their face. The, the grime and the pollution will still penetrate that but it won't be as deep. So just having that little film of protection over their face is really important. Now as their body changes too, you'll notice um, whiteheads, blackheads, they are generally blocked pores. Now pores are where the hair, the very small fine hair grows out of your face and they're all over our face. Um, and when they get blocked or clogged, um, that's how you get blackheads and whiteheads. Generally around here, you'll see it here, sometimes it comes out here as well. I've got some great tricks and products to use um, to, reduce the, to reduce the blackheads and to reduce the actual size of the pore. Uh, then you've got the big red sort of uh, pimple, like a lump. 
generally they're hormonal. Do not touch them because they're not, nothing's going to happen and all you're going to do is butcher yourself and end up scarring. Uh, and then you have quite often this is stress and this is hormonal. Now what I do find too, especially with my preteen, is when they see a pimple, they want to get it and they want to attack it. They don't wash their hands. This has been, again, touching everything all day. So you're spreading the bacteria. So if they have to get it, or if there's a little pimple and there is a head on it, I suggest you get two cotton buds, run them under warm water, so it's going to soften that area, and then very lightly they can sort of push out. One other thing, which can be a bit of a sensitive topic, and that's hygiene. Quite often these young people start to have a body odor and they don't realize it, but the people around them do. And sadly, kids can be a bit mean and a bit nasty and make fun of them. So as soon as you are aware that your child's top is starting to smell, make sure they're using some sort of antiperspirant or deodorant. A spray is pretty superficial. It's gonna make them smell nice, but to fight perspiration, they need a proper deodorant. I have been using a roll-on, not a crystallized deodorant, not a non-aluminium deodorant. I've used good old fashioned roll-on deodorant for 36 years and I'm okay. So, I mean, again, I know that's quite debatable about what sort of deodorant your child should use. That's your own personal opinion and I think that's something you need to research yourself. But I do want to bring it to your attention that this may be that they need to be using some sort of um, antiperspirant. So let me tell you about the products that um, I'm using at the moment for my daughter and why I'm using them. So first of all, I started with Dermalogica and this range is their clear start and it's for breakouts. And it's, um, they've got the normal foaming cleanser. What I do like about this, it has some botanicals in it. It's got lavender, camellia, um, but it also has salicylic acid, which it must be a minute amount because that this was bought over the counter. So it's cosmeceutical and the Abaji ones are medical and they also have a percentage of the salicylic acid in it. So this has been her daily foaming cleanser. In the shower, I'd really like to show you, show you how to do this. If they don't do it in the shower, then at least um, do it over the sink. And all they're doing, making sure, make sure they use warm water on their face because the warm water will open their, the pores on their face. And imagining my hands are wet, my face is wet, and then you're simply, you'll see it's a foaming. It will come up, okay, that's how it's got to look. When you teach your child how to apply it on their face, make sure it's circular motions all over. All around the nose, doing that, and the nose, uh-huh. And make sure your child doesn't do this. Screw their face up. Always say relaxed face, relaxed face. Go all around the eyes. See the, 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 uh, the direction I'm going, and then up on the neck, and then a figure eight like this all over their decolletage. Okay, so they've cleansed their face. Then when they get out, they've rinsed it, they've rinsed it in the shower, or rinse, rinsed it with warm water, then they get their towel. This is really important, please. Teach your child to pat dry their face, then their neck and their decolletage. Don't be rubbing really harsh, it's just really sensitive skin. You know, aging is a natural process, but let's not speed it up. <laughs> then we have a daytime treatment. It's her morning moisturizer. Again, it's got some really nice botanicals in it. This one, cucumber, lavender, so quite gentle. And then her evening one, overnight treatment. For the evening one, this has the salicylic acid, which is a, it does help prevent acne a little bit, but it's such a minute amount. It dries the skin out, basically. It really targets the, um, the pimples. When she has a breakout, which quite often can be around this area or around here or here, we've moved on to the Abaji. Now, this is the Cleansy Derm. It is for a younger skin. Uh, if she has a really bad breakout, she will use the foaming cleanser and the acne treatment of the Abaji for a day, for two days, until it clears up. And it does, it is amazing, this stuff. This is only for specific areas. So if there's one area where she's got a lot of pimples or a lot of breakout, you put it in, the, in on those areas. Um, and you can do that morning and night. 
but you must hydrate. So this is a really good, simple Abaji hydrating moisturizer, which you can use. Um, so that's where sort of I go between the Dermalogica and the Abaji. If you want something a lot more gentle, the Ultra Calming Cleanser is great for a young skin as well, but it doesn't foam, so they have to apply this all over the skin, over the, this goes onto a dry face and simply hands again all over their face. As you can see, it's not foaming. Now you can, um, you wet your cotton pads or cotton balls with warm water and just, if you actually wanna do the experiment, put this cleanser on, use a dry cotton pad, remove it, have a look at the dirt on their skin, just from what they're exposed to every day. So that's a tough one when I say, what age do you start? It's really got to be, you've got to judge for yourself. Um, but it's just how, how much are they cleansing properly in the shower? Okay, so where can you get these products? Dermalogica, you can get from most beauty salons, most um, pharmacies supply it too now. Um, Obagi, it has to come from a authorized supplier, um, a doctor. It's important that that person sees your skin because it is so important that the um, cleanser and moisturizer that you are using is to suit your skin. Are you normal to dry, normal to oily? Are you oily or you're very dry? It's really important that you complement that um, using the products that are actually going to help your skin rather than hinder it. Okay, this is my secret weapon and it's actually my daughter's secret weapon. It's from Vanity Planet and it's a deep cleansing brush. You get three brush heads in the set. That is your everyday um, cleansing brush. Then you've got the silicon brush and then you've got the exfoliating brush. It just means it's a little bit firmer. So this is how you do it. You just obviously again in the shower or if you're over the sink, it is waterproof. You just put on your foaming cleanser and then straight onto the face. It goes in circular motions. So again, just like I said, you do this all over your face. I'll turn it off. Oh, and there's two speeds. I forgot to tell you about that. Um, for the younger skin, I just start on the slower speed so it's a little bit more controlled. And just keep moving it all around your face. Make sure every part of your face is cleansed. Be very careful around the eyes. You don't go over the eyes at all. And don't forget your decolletage. Make sure that spinning, so you can either just go in circular motions or do a nice big figure eight all over your decolletage up on the neck. It's spinning on its own, so it's a lot easier. So what I also love is that it comes in this great little box, so it's portable, and it just means that our skincare routines are not compromised when we go on holiday. And don't forget, if you're using different um, brush heads, make sure you cleanse them. Even if you're not using different ones, the same one, cleanse it with warm water. Make sure they're really clean because that's very, very important for hygiene. Okay, well, I hope you've enjoyed this video and, and um, received something new and helpful from it. Um, the main thing is here too is remember, this is just what is working for my child. It's about trial and error. So make sure you try lots of different products or listen to other mothers and beauty therapists and see what they recommend. And then when something works, stick with it. And just remember, I do make lots of other videos on paleo and lifestyle. And you can find me on social media at memore.tv. Got it? <laughs> I'm glad we got a blooper. <laughs> yeah, I was going to say, because it's very hard to do a series video with bloopers at the end.